Are you wondering how to find and submit your sitemap to Google? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. So your sitemap is essentially like a roadmap of your website and the content that's on your website, okay? So this sitemap essentially outlines your website pages and the structure and all of that in a way that makes it easy for the Google bots to understand. And the easier that it is for the Google bots to understand the content and the pages on your website, the more likely you'll be able to get found in Google search results. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, website tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm going to dive into where to find your sitemap and how to be able to submit that sitemap to Google, because when we submit our sitemap to Google, we're essentially making it easier for Google to put our website in the index, which then makes it easier for us to show up in Google search results. So let's just get into the video. Okay, so in order to submit your sitemap to Google, you have to have a Google Search Console account, okay? So if you don't have that, then pause this video, click in the video description below, follow that video to learn how to set up your Google Search Console account, okay? If you already have your Google Search Console account set up and it's opened, then we are in the right space here. So before we submit our sitemap to Google, we have to find the URL of our sitemap, okay? So content management systems, CMSs like WordPress, Squarespace, Shopify, all of those, typically they make creating your sitemap, generating a sitemap very easily, okay? So on WordPress, this is an example of what a sitemap could look like. If you're using a different SEO plugin, it might look a little different than this, okay? So this one was generated by the Yoast SEO plugin, and the URL for this sitemap is the domain name and then a slash, and then you'll see sitemap underscore index dot HTML, okay? So this is the URL of this specific specific website's sitemap. If you're using Yoast, it's likely going to be pretty similar. Obviously, just swap out your domain name. So on Squarespace, this is what a sitemap looks like. And their URLs are just domain name slash sitemap dot XML. Okay, so it's actually the same thing for a Shopify website. Okay, so a Shopify website has the same sitemap URL as Squarespace usually. Okay, and then if you're like, well, Mariah, my website's not on any of those, well, then you can go to Google and just be like, what's my sitemap URL for fill in the blank? I just did Wix as an example here. And then you should be able to find whatever platform that you're using. They should have a help center, a Q&A page, an article, something like letting you know what the URL is. So for Wix, it looks like it's also sitemap.xml. Before you assume that this is it though, I want you to go ahead and double check it. Okay, so open up a new tab and literally like for my website, I'll do Mariah Magazine, my website is on WordPress. So I just want to double check that this is it. And yes, this is exactly what pops up. Okay, so before we try submitting any random URLs, just open up a new tab, double check it. Okay, so, once we have this, we're just gonna copy the URL in here and we're gonna head back over to Google Search Console. They make it very easy, okay? So just click sitemaps and then you're just gonna enter that URL that we copied. You're just gonna paste it right in here and then you're gonna click submit. So I'm gonna click this just so you can see what it looks like. You're gonna get it, it's submitted successfully, that's great. If you get a notification that's like sitemap, there's an issue with it, I've actually had this happen with numerous Squarespace websites, okay? So sometimes when you're creating a Squarespace website, for some reason there's like a bug and the sitemap won't generate automatically, but what you can do is just slide into Squarespace's 
like help center, their support. You can do this in a chat. They make it really easy. Just let them know, hey, my sitemap isn't generating. And then typically they can generate a sitemap within, I think it only takes a couple minutes. So just know that if you're on Squarespace, I have run into that issue before. So let's head back here. We're just gonna click got it. And you should see a success status. Sometimes Google Search Console, just like any other technology, it can get a little funky chicken. You might see a like a red, I forget what the text is, something red here that's like, no, oh, can't find it. Sometimes what can happen is if you just refresh the page, a lot of the time you will end up then getting a success status, okay? So before you freak out, just refresh the page. If you're still having an issue, then reach out to either your website developer or like I said, Squarespace support, Shopify support, something like that. But that is essentially all you have to do to submit your sitemap to Google. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you have any questions about Google Search Console, about SEO, about website stuff, definitely leave me a comment below. I use your feedback and your comments and your questions to be able to come up with new YouTube video ideas. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you in the next video.